In today's video, I'll show you how to build a bike rack out of a pallet. Don't worry, I've been riding every day and progressing, but with so many bikes, I need a way to keep them in order. So what you'll need is a pallet, one 2x4, hammer, nails, screw, and a drill is optional. You'll also need some sort of saw. I used a small circular saw to speed up the process, but this entire project can be done with a hand saw, hammer, and nails. It's going to be really hard to know if your free pallet is wide enough to fit 27.5 to 29 inch tires. So before starting the project, maybe just grab your bike and check to see if it fits roughly. Just know that most pallets will work if you're willing to tinker on them. Start by removing slats to fit your needs. I wanted four bikes to fit, so I had to remove one slat. Next, power up your saw. Don't forget to wear proper safety equipment when using power tools. Now the most important part is cutting all the slats as close to the middle support beam so that you can form an L shape with the two halves. This will take a long time with a handsaw. Now that you're done cutting, grab an old 2x4 and measure it to the same width as the pallet. This is a very important part because it'll be the supporting beam of the cut pallet. Shimmy the 2x4 into the cut pallet. Nail all the loose boards to the 2x4. Since the two halves need to meet at their furthest corner, you'll need a support beam to allow for the back side of the pallet rack to rest on and be anchored to. You'll see what I mean. You might find that you need extra support like I did, so I added another offcut of 2x4. Now the back can be attached securely. Don't forget, there are a thousand ways to do this, so please use your own judgment, tools, and abilities to make it work. I found some old shelf support that I used to bracket the L shape together. Additionally, I used the slat that I removed earlier from the pallet to add some heavier support to the sides of the rack. Oh yeah, and one of the most important parts of this is to keep the workplace clean and orderly. And finally, the rack is finished and ready for some use. You could fit this rack in a garage, carport, or just in the yard, and the best part is that it's pretty much free and can be decorated however you'd like. If you want to see a part 2 of this video where I decorate and revamp this rack, just please let me know. This bad boy is capable of holding four bikes of various shapes and sizes, though it is most efficient with only three. If you are a person who likes order and you're sick of tripping over bikes, this is a perfect project for you. Thanks for watching and I hope you build it. Don't forget to get out there and create your own adventure however you can. Spread some positivity and I'll see you on the next one.